not to be dramatic off the bat, but it was probably one of the greatest honors of my life so far to be in the room when Dev Patel received a standing ovation for Monkey Man at the premiere at South by Southwest. A pure passion project that he willed into existence, wrote, directed, and starred in. It was such a powerful moment, not only because you could tell how much it meant to him, but the crowd just knew, not only is this a guy that everyone wants to root for, but holy shit, the movie actually kicked ass. And it was already a pretty good indicator of the movie's quality when Jordan Peele watched it and with his production company, Monkey Paw, funnily enough, pretty much made sure that it got a theatrical release because this was gonna get dumped, I think, on Netflix. And after seeing it, Thank God, man, like this is not straight to streaming material. This is real deal, not your everyday action fare. And I say that especially for the people who called it a John Wick ripoff after seeing the trailer. That is like my biggest pet peeve right now. People see revenge and a guy in a suit in the trailer and all of a sudden it's a John Wick ripoff as if John Wick invented that. And to be fair, yes, there are absolutely pieces of John Wick in here. They even make a joke about it in the movie. But to me, that's such a reductive way to look at it because John Wick is one tiny piece of what what Dev Patel is working with here. And he knows his shit. He was a black belt in Taekwondo. He grew up with Bruce Lee, Bollywood films, Korean action films. Monkey Man is this mosaic of action influence from all over the world. And to reduce it to being a John Wick knockoff is not only misinformed, but I think it takes away from the moment this is also for South Asian influence in an action film, a genre where we don't see a lot of people who look like Dev in the leading role in Hollywood. I know that has been so important to that community and it's a foundational part of the film. There are really cool parallels drawn between this character and traditional Indian folklore that Dev has brought from his own life. I really haven't felt this excited about a young filmmaker after a debut in a while. And maybe it's because it's someone who we're so familiar with already, who's finally stepping into this role and telling his own stories and he's so damn good at it and yes it also happens to be in one of my favorite genres and one of the really good decisions here that makes it all the more thrilling and refreshing is that the kid he doesn't have a name I also love when movies do that but he's an underdog he doesn't start as this highly trained assassin he's really just running on like blind passion and bloodlust it doesn't seem like it should be novel but when you think about it John Wick the equalizer nobody the beekeeper a lot of these like one guy action stars now already have the skills. And so you see him start in the slums of India and work his way up and, and weasel his way into this class system as he's seeking out this guy that he wants to take his revenge on. And of course, along the way, you get some fucking kick-ass action. We've heard a lot about complications that they had filming this. Dev Patel has talked about a barrage of injuries that he's gotten. There were a lot of complications because of COVID all the way down to not even being able to film in India. And the action here is also a product of all of that. I'm a little unclear on who was originally supposed to do the action. I thought it was supposed to be 8711, which is Chad Stahelski's company, but I think they ended up having an Indonesian stunt team with Brahim Chav as the cinematographer, and whether it was intended for it to be them or not, they killed it. It's pretty violent. There are some, like, very memorably brutal moments in here, some wild-ass scenes, epic kills, and it's not just the action, it's the camera work. There's a lot of handheld, the visual language is dynamic, dynamic and textured. There's this one scene where he gets help from some people he met and they're in, in these traditional gowns and the way he films them I just thought was really special. And don't quote me on this, but it does seem like as we start in the trenches a bit, the camera work is grittier and less refined. There's a really cool one of people stealing a wallet, but then as he goes on this journey, it gets more self-assured as he does. So you're starting off and he's, you know, fighting for money in this grimy underground space. It starts off really intimate and then as he goes through this journey you're getting to these like grand finales and digital spectacles it's really really cool Charlotte Copley is in this as the guy who like announces things at the ring I love him he is such a fun performer I'm so glad he was in this and a little fun fact with that I'm wondering if this is why he's actually in it but we know Charlotte Copley did District 9 with Neil Blomkamp and Dev Patel actually after he wrote this movie asked Neil Blomkamp to direct it. And after thinking about it, Neil Blomkamp was like, you know this story better than anyone, you have to do it. So everyone say thank you, Neil Blomkamp. And of course, in the leading role, Dev Patel is a freaking force of nature. Again, it was so smart to make his character an underdog because he is like this tall, lanky, unassuming guy, but seeing him train up and beef up is so fun. And he just has the best screen presence. Everyone loves Dev. Now there's also some heavy political subtext I wanted to 
touch on that I can't claim to know a lot about. I've gathered that it's a critique of Hindu nationalism. I've also gathered that some of the footage has been edited and it might not go over well in India. Feel free to chime in if you are from India or have some background knowledge on it. I'll also refer people to Sidan Adlaka's review, a critic who I really love. He didn't love the film, sadly, but that's okay. He offers like a really interesting perspective that's much more informed about this than I am. And on that note, what I ultimately find so exciting about Monkey Man is that this movie is a little rough around the edges. Not everyone is gonna feel the same way about it or evaluate it in the same way. Some things might give you pause, like that cut wasn't quite right, or I wish that narrative element was more fleshed out. And if you don't like those things, that's totally fair. But to me, this film just has the ferocity and messy strokes that you could literally only find in a directorial debut. It, it feels youthful and alive, and I'm just ultimately so uninterested in engaging with the rule book here. Like that notion of objectivity that I feel like has become more popular in tangent with Letterboxd and rating everything, unfortunately. But this is like a piece of art that someone made and it's entertaining as hell and just so cool to watch knowing about the many obstacles that they faced. And especially in the blockbuster landscape, things so often feeling like the studio is writing movies, knowing this was so personal to Dev Patel and was his vision through and through and is really refreshing. So we'll see where Dev Patel goes from here. If he's going to continue to write, direct, this kind of feels like that really personal story that's been pent up for a while. So I kind of want to see what else he's got. But this was a very impressive directorial debut. I'm going to give Monkey Man 4.5 out of 5 stars. So those are my thoughts. I'm very curious to see how it holds up on a rewatch after that initial shock and being in that electrifying atmosphere of the premiere. But obviously, I think everyone should go out and see this opening weekend. My local AMC originally wasn't showing it in any premium format, but it looks like they recently added Dolby screening. So double check at your theater. But if you can find it in Dolby near you, it is absolutely worth the trip. Let me know if you guys plan on checking it out this weekend. If you already saw it, let me know what you thought. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.